everyone. Welcome to Little Lamp Go. Um, today I'm going to um, introduce you a game, a uh, World Championship game that recently played uh, with a uh, Chinese <coughs> Aiden and Tan Xiao and uh, Tan Xiao. Sorry. And uh, uh, Korean, uh, Naiden called uh, oh, Park Yong Hun. Let's just call him Park. And uh, Ten plays black. Park plays white. Uh, this is the uh, last game. They play three games uh, for the final competition. And uh, this is the uh, third game. And uh, who can win this game? Who become the 35? Or thir not 35, about. Uh, I forgot. And who become the next uh, hmm, world champion? Uh, Park has already become nine then but Tan Xiao is a uh, Chinese eight then he ha has actually many chances to become nine then but uh, um, he's a bit unlucky so maybe I think this is the uh, best chance for him to become nine then and uh, yeah, so in China, I think in both China and the Korea, and they have the policy that uh, uh, once you can win a world championship, you can become knight then. So Tan, Tan Xiao is uh, a kind of not very uh, young player, but uh, also not very old. So, so this is a good chance for him. And if he lost this chance, I think it will be harder for him to uh, win a championship in his whole life. Okay, let's see this game. Uh, Tan Xia Tan play, plays black, and uh, <coughs> the second move, the Park plays uh, at the three three. Uh, as I introduced uh, before, also in my game played uh, on Tai Gym, you see lots of three three. This is uh, influenced by the Alpha Go actually, because uh, if you play at the star point, later uh, Black can invade at the three three. Before we think this is not good for black because uh, the Joseki we learned is like this. This is not good for black. Mm, that's true. But uh, the thing is, uh, let's see if it's like this. The thing is, uh, after go, ah, uh, Alpha go. After play this exchange, Alpha Go will not uh, do the exchange with B4 and B5. Alpha Go will directly uh, split at the, uh, somewhere here. So it's like uh, White builds a wall, but uh, Black got a sentence. Then White cannot uh, have good uh, good space to extend. It's very narrow. The war is useless. This is AlphaGo's logic, and uh, it's very hard to uh, deal with actually with the three-three point. So after AlphaGo plays the three-three, more and more um, professional players start to play three-three. Uh, later, I may also. Uh, show you the game between AlphaGo and Kejie mm. uh, during that game Kejie also play at the 3-3 so 
Now the three three point is not only a uh, fashion, but also maybe it's a uh, useful uh, move. But it also has some weakness. It's uh, it has less influence for the middle. But it doesn't matter much. Uh, yeah, I remember that in one game uh, between AlphaGo and AlphaGo, it's like uh, AlphaGo plays himself. Uh, after the games, uh, the three games between Kezi and AlphaGo. Uh, AlphaGo actually released the 50 games uh, played by himself. And uh, if you are interested, you, you can visit the uh, official website of DeepMind and download these 50 games. Uh, I think no one can understand what, what AlphaGo played. So it means an improvement of the Go skills that uh, our basic Go series were broken by the AlphaGo and uh, in several games I have seen the very interesting uh, variation like this oh, sorry like this that uh, black play the 3-3 three, three at this side and white play 3-3 three, three at this side. So it means the later they will play like this. This is like become a new circuit for the 3-3. Three, three. <coughs> so it's very good for... It's very good to play 3-3, three, three, uh, at least for now. But we can't play all three three uh because Go is uh basically a game of balance. You can't focus too much on the three three. Let's see the actual game. Like looks like black plays very normal and uh this is also a normal variation and this is uh, the four space extension. You also you can if you watch my uh, uh, live game on Tigerm. I also played this move before. This for me is just like a try. I'm, I'm not sure what's the benefits of this move. Uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, Park plays this move. He must think this move is good move. Uh, but uh, actually, mm, in this game, I'm not sure if it is really a good move because mm, For me, I will just uh, ignore this move, play somewhere else. For instance, I just play like this. I can't see the next move of white. If white play here, is this in a good point? Uh, in, in a good position? I'm not sure, because later I can still invade at this side. If, if you play at this side, it's really not interesting. So probably white will also uh, just uh, mm, ignore and later when black when we play lots of moves when black come black still can choose to enter and uh, or play this side. I think uh, white place this point instead of uh, this point uh, the benefits is to limit the influence of black at the top side but now black actually has nothing on the top side so 
Uh, we can't say this is a bad move, but uh, I'm not sure it's if it's the best move under this situation. So, but Black didn't choose to ignore. It's also okay. At, in the beginning, they can they can play what wherever they like. Also, I can't see the uh, benefits when white with this exchange. Um, yeah. So in this, uh, we can only see if this this uh, benefits white when we see the later uh, progress. After this, white. Uh, Fly to the corner. This is not like AlphaGo style. If AlphaGo play AlphaGo, definitely will play like this. I've never seen AlphaGo play the flight move. <coughs> uh, oh, sorry. And in the actual game, Black play this exchange and then come this side. Of course, black will not play at this side. We need to be sure this is... Mm. This is a Josuke, but uh, I'm sure you must uh, see it uh, rarely in the uh, recent uh, professional games. It's because this is too narrow for black, too slow. And uh, yeah, black a uh, white uh, shape as well so black will not play here is mm, okay but uh, under this situation i think uh, a better choice for black is to just uh, uh come back here because uh Next move, white uh, uh, maybe will will play like this, but uh, I don't think uh, this is good for white. With this exchange, uh, I think black get benefits with this exchange because white makes black's uh, corner a bit stronger and black has more points. If we just uh, uh, I'm not not very familiar with the KGS that uh, uh, can I capture these two stones. If you ignore these two stones, later white actually can can just directly come to this side and uh, later black can also come come uh, this side to attack white stone. Also, if you see this situation, it's just like mm, how see it's just like a, a white place like this. This is like a Joseki. It's it's very normal. Well, when black fly and white just play here, of course, black also get some benefits with this exchange. So, in my opinion, black just uh, need to play normal and ignore white's move. But uh, it's not very good for white. But uh, in the actual game, black play this side. His logic is to use the uh, pre pre previous uh, stone that uh, the two space extension played. <coughs> but uh, this is really a questionable move that uh, white can directly enter the Swiss ray. Now it becomes a bit hard for blacks to play actually because this stone is very light no matter where we play white 
but can ignore. We can't get a uh, many territory. Later, what can still uh, come this side? It's like you spend lots of moves and uh, kill uh, five points. It's, it's uh, unacceptable. But if we try to uh, block what this side, uh, white can also ignore, and later it's also easy to come out. So this is it's uh, uh, boring to play at the top side. So in the actual game, um, black choose to come this side to uh, try to block white and uh, get a war. But uh, after white play this move, black finally find that uh, hard. It's hard to to choose now because if black continue to uh, uh, continue what uh, he thinks, he should play this side and uh, block white. But then problem comes. White can play this that. It's like it's very inefficient for black. Now you see the uh, importance I said before. Uh, oh, where is this? Can't find it. It's really hard, hard. Where is it? Okay, not very familiar. You must know what I mean, I think. Uh, after play like this, black sh should have a stone here. If if black played like what I said, to ignore white's uh, fly and just come back at the star point, later black can play like this. It's, very good ship for black, but now black cannot get a sentry at the right side corner. And when white comes here, it's like all the plan was destroyed with the last move. That is why when white plays here, it suddenly becomes not very good for black to choose. Obviously, we only have two choices to attack this side and this side. And usually, at the top side is the right uh, decision. But now, uh, now it's not good for black. So, the problem is uh, what I said before the this move is the problem. We should play this side. Then, if white come in, uh, come to the corner, we can play. We as I uh, <coughs> explained before, black uh, has no reason to uh, to be bad. Black can come this uh, corner and play other moves. And if white don't come into the corner and play some big move, then you can choose to play like what you played before. Like this. Uh, then you, this is very beautiful shape. But this is very bad shape. So, that's why after a long thinking in the uh, finally black choose to uh, black choose to play at Atari at the bottom side. Hmm. And this is very rare to see and uh, like strange move, but it has logic black, because black can not be satisfied. To uh, for the variation that Atari at the top side, so he choose to Atari at this side. But uh, after White simply play like this, the situation is not good for Black. Mm, it's 
really hard. Because now you can see that uh, this should be at the right side should be black side at the uh, opening. Black has two more stones, but uh, after the third thirty move, that looks like white control the situation of the uh, right 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 side, and uh, on the bottom side is like uh, uh, white has much more stones. Black just uh, have a very narrow uh, territory. Also, this territory is not very concrete. White later can have lots of moves like this, like this. Lots of moves to destroy uh, Black's uh, territory. And this is uh, the only territory Black got on the board. So, for me to, to say this... Uh, <laughs> After the 13 move, white has already got the uh, advantage. So the reason is, uh, when black feels hard to play, he chooses to play, uh, uh, play strange move to counter attack. But uh, probably he lose loses more maybe black should also play at the top side even if it's not very good but i think this variation is worse for black so of course black will not accept to uh play like this simple here black cannot jump black because if jump white can play here it's like very narrow and uh, this is very broad for for white so black cannot accept this variation then black choose to counter attack again this all these moves has logic is uh, all these moves are logic has have its logic but uh, this is also re really hard for black when white just uh, attach here. Black can only honey, uh, only honey. There's no other choice. And uh, yeah, all these moves are straight, straight, straight. After white plays here. I think it's a failure for black in the beginning. This is a too concrete shape for white. Has no, not a single weakness. But black's territory are, are, are very <coughs> weak. And uh, also White has more uh, influence than black. I think this uh, corner white has about 20 points. So white has about uh, 35 points. And this is not black's territory. And this is also not. So it's very hard for black to play now. Black has to find some ways. Yes, this is like to uh, learn from the AlphaGo, mm, this move. Black has to get some more territory, play more aggressively. Uh, attach here first. With this exchange, I'm not sure if it's good, but it doesn't matter much. Because late, if you don't play later, maybe you can have some uh, play here and cut some variation like that. But uh, this is um, not much difference. And uh, here, white 
White choose to play a very simple uh you see that uh, uh under this corner white choose to play a very simple variation that means white think this is uh white think he has already got sort of advantage in the beginning so he chose to play safely to uh to win this game for me i think maybe white can play something here first because if you choose to play this uh then white can play here it's really really hard for for black to deal with because white was quite strong so i don't think black can ignore black has to play something here and uh, then maybe white can choose to play like this and if you come out i also come out what can has no reason to afraid and not then black just have such a big territory here and both groups are not al alive actually white can use his war to attack black this is a more positive um, solution i think But uh, in the actual game, why just play like this? It's uh, like uh, why? Why? Uh, hmm. It. I can say it's a human choice because human cannot think uh, very uh, <coughs> without the emotion, especially in this important uh, competition. That he is. Uh, when he got advantage in the beginning, he chose to play safe. If AlphaGo plays after 40 moves, I think uh, human cannot uh, get back of uh, the uh, situation. This variation actually is quite safe, but still White uh, is in lead of this game and uh, yeah this move is actually not uh, in a good position because what black can directly ignore it and uh, play at the middle this is also a very big move for me i think the here the the good choice is good position is to play it here because this move has the next move if you ignore I can play at p17 so you you, you can't, can't just uh, uh, choose to ignore you have to answer this move if you play here maybe I will destroy all your territory so the most common move, I think, is to uh, block at here. But if you block at here, I can directly connect. Here now, you, you, you can't kill me. Because if you play here, this is a sente for me. And uh, this is also a sente for me. If you block at you can't kill me and uh, I got some territory in your territory then you can resign so you can't uh, kill me and uh, after I cut you you are in danger so here after I connect you can only connect then I play here you block or not if you don't block I can still you the important thing is you cannot uh, have a way to seal me inside so probably you also need to block then i fly out like this later i can still cut you it's much much better than the uh in, than the variation in actual game 
I think if white play like this, ah,、uh, white can enlarge its、uh, advantage, and it's even hard for black to play. So if you block at here, then I have much more choices to to play. A fly or jump is much better than the actual game because at least I waste your your move. But、uh, in the actual game, he played. He chose to play at this、uh, point, this position. Then black can ignore. And、uh, when you play p seventeen now, black can. Counter attack and、uh, capture this stone directly. Both of them play very、uh, simple here. You can see from all this exchange, white actually didn't、uh, harm black a lot. Black got all his territory, and the important thing is here now. You have less choice to connect here, because if you connect here later, black can maybe kill you all. So, and、uh, another important thing is black got this move. Let's try to use the. Oh,、uh, yeah, black got this move. This move looks not very big, but actually this this head is very big because it means you cannot、uh, seal me off all this line. So yeah, ah,、uh, how can I? <laughs> hey. Oh, I see. I see. I see. <clears throat> so, this, ah,、uh, so this move is also, uh, we can't uh, uh, ignore this situation. If I choose to play something like here, black can play. This or this to kill all this. Then it's like white got nothing. By here, white just played this move and black played here, got lots of territory. So this is also、uh, Necessary. Then we can see after all this, black maybe also when white plays a bit safe here. Black situation is actually getting much better than before. So black chose to play this way, but I think.、Uh, For now, it's still a bit.、Uh, white still get a bit、uh, advantage. <coughs> now black has some more choices, but、uh, we can't see say which is better. Because if you maybe to play like this side is also a choice for black. Also, it's hard to to decide actually, because if you get this side, white can get this side. If you get this side, white can get this side. So this is also a move of balance. It's okay. Yeah, and white choose to they play to、uh, they choose to play simple at the right corner. And then white、uh, come to this side. This move means that white maybe think,、mm, oh, I didn't play 
very well after I got a huge advantage. Then I need to find some ways. Yes, because if Black play like here later, this group is even not alive. Then what、uh, is Y doing for this whole、uh, variation? So I choose to invade here, and Black choose to jump. Maybe you will say, "Oh, now it's not good for Black the situation. Maybe we should choose to counter attack." The first thing, I'm not sure if White can just、uh, come this way. Obviously, Black cannot play this move because. Mm, if you play like this, I can play this and play this and、uh, cut you directly. Now black can only play here. Oh, sorry. I will not play this move. I will directly cut you, and、uh, then I can jump. If you play here, and、uh, I have seven points, you just have six points at most. So, ah, not points, deputies. So this is uh, what uh, black afraid. And even if white don't come this side, white just play here. You can't、uh, see you. What? Because if you play here, I can't come out. Ah, then you collapse. Ah,、uh, and、uh, the only way you can、uh, save your territory is to play like this. But if you play like this, ah,、uh, when I cut, you have no idea where to play. If you, ah,、oh, sorry. If you play this side, ah,、uh, tarry and connect. This is sinful for me. It's too bad for black. And、uh, if you descend, then I can go this sinful. This is also too too bad for black. So it means even if I play here, you can only jump here. It's like the actual game. And we also have risky that white、uh, directly come out this side. So, actually, in the actual game, black play here is correct. Ah, <sighs> then white play here and black play here. White,、uh, it's like with this sente, with this move, it got a sente to make his corner concrete. And then he jump out. This is also very big. Maybe in the <coughs> before when we learn go, the Japanese taught us we need to play this. The、uh, in this just a key, but、uh, this is not a go move for the modern go theory. It's too too slow, too slow. So. Later, when you play in this situation, if we need to play, we need to jump. We should jump, and the black jump to this side to attack white's、uh, group. Now you see how bad this move is. The O15. If if we play at、uh, One line, right? Maybe the situation is totally different.、Mm. Black is getting the uh, getting the distance closer of the balance of、mm, territory closer, but、uh, still white got. Ah,、uh, it's very hard to say. I think. I think up to now, maybe Black has already、um, got the balance of the territory.
back uh, is not falling back now. Anyway, it's a good it's a good chance for black now. Uh, what black think is um, if if you black play some thing here, I can get some points at the middle, and uh, maybe I can may uh, maybe even if you are a bit sick than me, I got more points. And this is correct. In the actual game, why choose to connect like this? Does not want to give many uh, ways to use for black. So, actually now black can choose to continue his idea to uh, play and uh, lead this game to the ending game. But uh, now, just when Black uh, get is getting closer, Black make a very huge mistake. Now, because Black look see some weakness of white here. What he's thinking is one white place here. I can, even if I don't cut you directly, I can at least play this as a sente. And then if I jump here, probably you also need to answer. Then I got lots of territory here. This connect become, you can never get this connect connection and uh, this is much better than the shape before and you got nothing but uh, I think when white plays this more white has already think thought of this variation it's a it's like a trick when your opponent shows some weakness obvious weakness and uh, at this point, you need to think why he gives me such an obvious weakness for me to play. It's because he has some good move. It's in the actual game. White plays this move. When white plays here, actually, black third suddenly for for falls back again. White controlled the game now. <coughs> Let's see why this is very so important. Uh, because it, when white connect here if you try to kill like this it's actually as risky when white play here let's say you play this sente first and later when I fly to here you can't kill me I can give you some time to think The best way I think for black to play is here. Then white play here. You cannot kill it uh, unconditionally. The best way for black to play is a call. And also, let me gi give you a problem. When black play here, where should white play? Under this uh, shape, actually, white can make this group alive unconditionally. Three, two, one, go! 
Yeah, this is the answer. And this shape, what is unconditionally alive. So it means when white connects, black can only play here. And uh, if just simple, we play here if you connect. Black has much less territory than the variation we showed before, you see. So this is what black wishful thinking for black white play here. And this is also very normal to miss. Very normal to think that oh what if I push white should definitely extend here. But when white plays show this move here black suddenly don't know where to play. Because if you play this side, white will just play like this. And now white is connected and he saved this uh these stones and make the most important things he make his group very concrete. You cannot kill uh cut me from no matter which uh side. The most important thing here is if you ignore later I can cut you here. If you choose to Atari this side, I can at least got a uh Seki in Sente. Then black has much less territory. Which is unacceptable for black this variation. And of course we I I will not play this uh directly. I can save it to play it later. It's like you still earn me some owe me some money. Owe me one move. So white Black cannot play at the bottom side. Then you would say, uh, how about I choose to play at the uh, top side? If you choose to play at the top side, uh, Oh, sorry. This is not a good move. Let me think. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. This is not a good move. If you choose to kill the top side, you should maybe play like this. Yeah, to kill the top side. But, uh, Yes, I will let you to kill. And uh, even if I don't kill you at the, at this side, oh, sure, I can maybe directly kill you this side. This is unacceptable for for black. And. Uh, if you kill at this side, I can also, even if let's say I, I let you come back, this is not very big. Later I play here if, if you kill or not, if you try to kill, I, I can come out here. And you just, this is not big, just 10 points. Here I ha have already destroyed more than 10 points. And also, uh, so that's why when white plays here, suddenly it's not good for black too. Black has no, no good moves. It's like white dig a, a, a very um, 
it's like why why dig a hole and uh, uh put some meat on it and black is just like a uh, uh, hungry moss come there and suddenly falling into the hole this is a human's mistake because human has desire to eat meat you see a hamburger here and uh, you want to eat then you're falling into the you fall into the hole so in the actual game black choose to play this variation but you see after what god is it's like uh, black got nothing from this variation he killed, he, he, he indeed, he killed one stone here, but uh, all this group are connected. What is this for? This is useless. And uh, when black Atari is here, all black's influence were disappeared. And uh, later, white can still got some... Oh, sorry. Uh, doesn't matter. Later, white can still got some uh, sente here. Got lots of territory. So up to now, I think most professionals will think that black has no choice. <laughs> oh, it's like white got uh, advantage easily at the beginning and. Uh, Later, black try hard to play at the bottom side and the uh, top right side to make it the situ the situation better to make it closer. But certainly, black ruin all this effort. But of course, it's not the end of the world. Black can still play. He need to save this uh, cut first, and uh, uh, white is also a very interesting uh, player. I think when he got some advantage, he choose to play safe. And uh, if you know this uh, Korean player Park. He's not the the, 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 the the young park, he's the old park. If you know this old park, he's uh, very good at uh, the ending game. So, in the middle game, he always tries to play uh, safely, instead of like uh, the Lee Sido uh, always want to fight. <coughs> He's very confident about the ending game, so he always play very safe when he got advantage. Of course, this is not the biggest move. White should uh, try to at least try some ways to attack black and get some territory. What is this? This is just make his job better and uh, mm, get become more concrete. So I have a feeling that White is uh, tries to play safe again, and uh, this is a good sign for Black. When your opponent plays uh, more safely. You have chance, more chances to get to the uh, situation back. Yeah, that's all exchange. Then why choose to jump out at this side? But yes, now white has more territory now. After black chose to play a very bad move here. So here black can only jump out to uh, counter attack. 
and uh, why to choose to connect all the stones together maybe this is his logic yeah And if you see black moves, black uh, now choose to play more aggressively. And uh, this push and cut, black actually has no choice. If you play here, white can just block it. It's like uh, later, if you don't play, This will be a sente. So it's like uh, white can seal black's group and uh, cut black's row uh, with a sente, and the black's group is still not alive. So what black think is if. If all your groups are connected, I will lose this game. I can't let you to play so safe. I also need to create some weakness, then I can have the chance to win. So this push and cut <coughs> is necessary. And this is the sente. and connect. Black choose to run together with you, uh, with, with, with you, and uh, is still aiming for the group at the top. So I think this move is really a slow move for white. And uh, this is also not a very good move. So I think the park is not um, his strength is like to control the game, but uh, uh, not uh, very good at the uh, shaping. To like Lee Sido is more uh, much better than him to uh, to seize the chance in a certain particular area. At this area, actually, the best move for black for white, the best position, the best shape, best point for white to play is to play here. <laughs> because when white plays here, white can save this stone. If you play here, I just connect, and if you play here. I think this is the center for me, set. I can come out. And uh, this is very hard for you to come back, these five stones. It's far away from your home. And uh, if you don't play here, I jump. This group is also not alive, so it's like I I run with you. You have two groups. For instance, you still didn't get home. When I connect this stone, you have two groups to run, and I just have one. This is, if you play this side, it's also the same. Not much difference. But uh, in the actual game, uh, he, he chose to just jump. But uh, this is a bit loose. One, one black looks like a very good move that you cannot push me you cannot push me if you push me i can yeah oh sorry i can play like this connect easily 
But your opponent is not silly, he will not push you. <coughs> but what black can kill this stone directly. Then, you have no pressure on these two stones. It's like, you, the only thing you can do is to, to run with the black. And it, why choose to push and connect? If it's like this, I think this move is even worse than just push the hut. What's the difference? What's the difference? Black should push and you just push. And uh, it's like this move, black make move this move to here. Of course here is much better for black. Tries to be clever, right? But uh, yeah, after black capture this, it's like f before the shape is like this. White can still have some ways to escape here, but in the actual game, black just c capture this stone, and now you see. After all this, you need to jump, I need to jump, and uh, I also save a way to make my group alive. And all your groups are not alive. So it's like after black push through, push and cut, black got... Uh, got some territory in the middle, even if we can't see it clearly. But before, if you remember, the, the shape is very concrete for white. White actually has some influence here. But now, black can kill these two stones, can I tarry here? And black has already killed two stones here. So it's like black has more points here than white, if we can see. <coughs> if we see. So, Black actually got the situation a bit better. White still has to connect all his group, but maybe this is a way of the park to play, to make the situation simple. I think if I play like this, I can win this game. If we count points, Hmm. White has about 45 points. Uh, black also have has about 45 points. So white got uh, obvious advantage now. So it's okay for him to play like this. Yes, black need to save this. Because like what I said before, if you play somewhere else, white can easily come back here. Got got lots of territory here. Then black has no way to to win this game. So this is a good move. Destroy white's uh, territory here and uh, black. Also make his groups uh, much stronger. And uh, also, if you can see, it aims for this whole group. He cut him and uh, get some points, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, so white uh, tries to make an eye, and uh, also it's a very big move, make an eye, and if you don't answer, I will distant him, then cut, then cut black, black cannot, uh, ah, acceptable, so he has to answer, and uh, this is, I don't really know what this is. Maybe it's a uh, announcement of the victory. 
I will never play like this. <laughs> if you play here, maybe this is better than connect all this. Why, why choose to connect here? It's like I think if white continue to play like this, maybe black has chance to win this back. Yeah, after black play here, next move black can capture these two stones. This move has more than 10 points, 11 points, I think. And uh, now, why choose to play here? <coughs> Fucking me, I... I really can't understand what this is. I have no idea why why I'd play this. With this exchange, White only got some got a call here and the got he actually got nothing, no points here, maybe just one point, and it makes black shape very good. Give black some points here, as I said before. Black has no points here, and 45-45, uh, it's like white still got some more points here than black, but now you can see, black got more points than white, and white with one move here, and with the one move here, white. If you want to play, you should play like this. Then you got more points. Black is not alive. You, if you cut him, the two groups are not alive. And here it's very hard for black to play. So what are you thinking? Are you afraid of something like this? No, we are not afraid. Are you afraid of this? group to die? This is the only explanation. But of course this group will not die. You can come back here, you got some eye shape here, you got half eye here, half eye here, and you can capture here. We say three eyes, three fake eyes. Ah, how to say that? Three half eyes? It's alive. You can make two eyes in turn. But now we have five to six eyes. What are you afraid? You can't keep in give points to your opponent. No matter how large the band the 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 advantage is, you can't give points to your opponent. Especially your opponent is also a top professional. If you just uh, give points like this, finally you will lose. And push here again is also a bad move. He wish black to block here? No, black will not. Black can play at this side. So, if you want to push, you Sorry. If you want to push, you push now. Black should block maybe. And then you you want to play here, you play here. Black still need to play this. It's like uh, I think this is also a human mistake. They have sometimes they even don't know where they are doing what what they are doing. Maybe it's too close to the championship. It's too close to the world champion. Their mind will change. They will don't know what they are doing. They will think, oh, I'm so close to the champion. I need to play safe. I need to play safe. Oh, this is safe. My group is not alive yet. I need to make it alive. I have got advantage. I need to play very concrete to win this game. 
This is actually not a good thinking. So this exchange also not good for white. White got no points with this exchange and makes black stronger and with this move it's even harder for white to play this call. Oh, sorry. And <coughs> okay. We always say three in a row. So here, white play three bad moves in a row. What is this? This, this is also nothing. You see from from the from this move, white got nothing but play such a uh, this round. From here to here, white got nothing. And uh, he says he want to make this group alive, but for me, I think he makes this group even more ah. Uh, Danger, uh, in danger. Vulnerable. So it's like, I think, after this move, I think black has chances. If black always tries to play at the point and uh, let white to play those moves with no points, black can definitely win this. See where black play. Yeah, black play this. Looks like this more. But if you see if this exchange, it's at least 10 points. So let's see. The worst move for white to play here. I play here. I got 10 more points. Later you play here, I can connect. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like very easy to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. White got six more points. So it's like with this, or oh, five more points, or six more points maybe. Here, <coughs> later, black can also have one more move. So it's like at least 11 points with this exchange. And this is nothing, this jump. Yes, with the white cannot accept this. And also I need to keep black uh, not alive. Oh, so now white send it, uh, send it find that he plays some so soft move. And he need to get some move. Okay, he got 10 points here. And block. But but uh, I don't know if this I think I think this move is more than ten points. So black master uh white master white's mind master uh thinking of something else now. Yeah, but finally he he, he know that he need to play some ah uh, just to get some territory. This is actually not a very big move. But I think uh, what black means is to I think this move is just three to four points, not very big. Black can have much bigger move to play some somewhere here here are very big. More than three points. Or even black can play at this side first actually to make this group safe. But uh, what black means is with this move is not actually got three to four points. He's top professional. He will. What he means is to cut 
quite a road to come go back. Uh, threaten your group again because you are so afraid. And I need to keep pressure on you. <coughs> yeah. Then why choose to jump here? Which is, um, yeah, white has to play. But I think uh, uh, black should try to play at this side somewhere. Because this side, black play one stone, black group are safer, and you also, uh, you also uh, uh, make pressure on white group. If you play at this side, you only have one uh, function that to threaten the white group. But when white tries to make life, your group is in danger. So this is also a problematic move for black. Uh, so we can see that uh, usually in the final match of the world championship, The moves they play sometimes are not the best move. <laughs> Maybe sometimes they will play some uh, very bad move because they are humans. When they feel big pressure, they will make big mistakes. Now, Black choose to destroy White's eye shape here and what? here a black has to block or what can make life in sente and this big point uh, this is nothing and uh, when white plays here black choose to capture and uh, white jump Yes, it's a good move. Black choose. Oh, okay, Atari. Ah? Oh? What is this? <sighs> this is really hard to understand. I think. Oh, I know. From these two moves, you can see that white probably is in overtime. White has no time to, to calculate. But firstly, here you need to Atari. Atari Black can only connect. Black has nowhere to play. No. Atari and connect, and you kill these six stones. White can still win this game. Because you give some uh, points here. That's right. But you can get some back, back here. It's still white. White can win this game, I think. Uh, but maybe white is a bit afraid of something here. He's afraid that if he Atari, the only explanation that he don't he doesn't Atari means. When he Atari Black can come this side. <clears throat> but actually, it doesn't matter much. Because if you, uh, if you try to cut me, firstly, I just uh, choose to connect. Now you need to connect and I connect here. Now this is a sente for me, you see. If you don't play, I will go back. I say you push here, I'm oh, sorry. I say you push here and want to destroy my eye shape. This is a sente for me. I say uh, Atari first and play this a sente. If you want to kill me, you need to play like this. I make this eye. Then I. The, here I have an eye, here I have an eye. It's very easy to make a life. Ah. 
but why he didn't play like that? I'm not sure. If White play like that, Black White can definitely win. And <clears throat> and the one Black play here, White connect like that. It's funny. Really, really funny. Let's say that. If you are not sure if your whole group is alive and you don't want to Atari, it's okay. Then if let's save this card. Why not save the here? This looks a still bit more, but it's better than the actual game. Because later you can you can have this push. Then he play here, you cut him, he's not alive. So if you want to save, you can save here. But why choose to play here is it's like Black God is assassinated. This is totally big difference. Oh my god, and Black God is small. This is Let's say before we can kill these six points here, more than oh, six to eight points here. But now black get one more point. Oh, much more than six points actually. Let's see. Oh, forgive me. <coughs> Let's see if we play like this. Uh, we just let Tari later. Uh, of course, I will kill this first. Let's see the later variation here. Here I can capture and my block is also a sentry, so it's more than six points. About nine points, I think. Nine points. It's like with this exchange, one black play or black got one more point, so it's about ten points. White lose ten points by this variation, and it's not connected yet. Oh, so finally he chose to escape this. Uh, and the black still chose to uh, make pressure on him. He feels like, ah, uh, you. So when you show your, uh, how to say, when you show that uh, you want to be safe, it's like, to say, oh, I'm afraid. Then your opponent will keep pressure, keep making pressure on you, let you to feel more afraid. The only way to to defeat your opponent is to play strong. This at this side, Lee Sido is play much better than the park. But maybe this is the difference with the. Uh, with Go style. He likes to play like this, <clears throat> and uh, maybe the park park is getting older, and uh, he doesn't want to calculate too much. So actually, here I think after black play here, black has already get back from this game. Black, if Black can play, if Black is Alpha Go, Black can win this game definitely. If if he play all the sequence correctly, he can win this game. So I think now Black has uh, no need to to cut white. Black should just play some big moves here, here, something here. There's no need to cut white because when black cut here and white push here, white got some territory here. It's quite not small actually. Here white got six six points back. So it's like uh, with this exchange, white only lose four points, and uh, white was in advantage. So. After white play here, I think it's a quite close game. 
Ah, oh, this, this is too bad. Uh. Yeah, and this is good move. Yeah, so if white plays here, uh, white, black has already got one point at uh, advantage. Uh, one point back. Because later white still need to play one move here. So actually, yeah, in the actual game, white has to play here. Also, if white play here, black can descend with a sente. Because if you don't play, later I can play this and oh, this too bad for white. So white has to uh, play here. But uh, later. Or maybe not later. I think black can play directly then like this. Later white can black can seal all these liberties and maybe here is much better. White got nine points here only. So let's see before much more than nine points. So this is I suggest black to play this directly, but black didn't. He chose to play this. This is actually not big, not that big. <coughs> Why he plays here? This is not very big. So I think both black and white are making mistakes in the ending game. Of of course, this is much bigger. But I know I I, I have already know why uh, the reason that black plays here. Black plays here is to aim for the whole group of white. So if white don't play. If you choose to save this, I can get this ascent. Oh, this is like a tricky move. If you choose to connect here, I can kill this stone. Then later I can attack here. Then of course you lost. If you connect, I, I can cut you. Then you, you can't make a life. This is also ascent. With this exchange, the most important thing is this. Oh, sorry, I can, I can play this sente first. Then you can't push sure here. Then I can easily kill your group. But this is really wishful thinking. Of course, white will answer you. White will come back, and this move has some point. So it's like you. You play a small move, you have a long wishful thinking there to kill this stone, but uh, why just uh, simply come back and you have to answer. Then it's like you just played a very small ending game move. Ah, oh, and the white god is is too big, really big. And uh, so white gives something to black, black gives some to white. It's still a close game. But after all, we need to count. If we just see this area that uh, when white got benefit here, got advantage here, white plays all these moves has no point. So of, of course black got much more benefit in the ending game. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, I think Park is old now. Firstly, let's say that Black probably shouldn't block here because this is much bigger than, than this. And uh, when black blocks here, most important thing is white actually can honey now, I, I think. 
because it's a quite close game. If white can make black to play like this and then honey back to here, I think white can win this game. And this is not a, a this is not funny. This is re realistic because white has obviously more uh, coast red than black. Lots of coast red here and lots of here, lots of here. And the white groups are connected, so black has not cannot compete with white at this call. But white plays here this is the last weakness at it. Ah, last. <coughs> Sorry. My clothing is not 100% recovered. Ah, oh, black still give white chances. Play here. Let's play here. No. Oh? No. I just connect. So, when black got this uh, Atari, I think it's the end of this game. And uh, oh, it's one hundred, one, one hour and a half. A long time, maybe because of my bad English, I waste too much on the correcting my words. But, uh, I hope you enjoy this game. Uh, yes, this is a, a good game. I think we see some new moves from the beginning. And uh, we can see this, this, mo this game is like a wave that uh, black got a uh, white got advantage first, then black because of some uh, slow moves, black make make the situation back, and uh, then with a very good move that uh, white uh, make um, make a trick for black and black. The professional Aiden Tan Xiao fall into the uh, the hole that White dig. Then White got advantage again. But in the ending game, it's like uh, should be the best part for Park. Park is well known for his ending games uh, skills. If you remember that in two thousand and seven. Park has uh, beat Gu Li at at the uh, the final game of a world championship. In that game, that Park was uh, was in black, and uh, uh, with Gu Li, the 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 game went to the ending game. When the game went to the ending game, uh they have sim uh, similar uh, points on the board. It's like quite even the black and white. So black still need to give Komi to the white. Definitely Guri can win that game. But uh, in the ending game, Park show his skills and uh, it's like a magic. He showed lots of magic in the ending game and finally black win that game by one and half points, if I remember correctly. But this game, it's like he lost too many points. Maybe he's getting old. And uh, maybe this is the worst ending game game for the... Uh, for the park. And uh, let's congratulations to Tan Xiao. Uh, after... Ten years efforts, more than ten years maybe. Finally, he got the first champion award championship for him. So we also need to keep effort, and finally, we will make success in our work, our business, our <coughs> study. 
Uh, so it's the end of this game, and uh, uh, I will see you next time. At the last, uh, uh, let's talk about some of my recent situation. After two years no see, uh, I got married, and uh, in the August, uh, I'm going to be a dad, so soon probably I will become busy again to taking care of my baby. And uh, also, the reason that I uh, I missed for two years, actually, I, don't, I every day I want to make videos, but I was really, really too busy. I have passed an exam, which is quite important for my work, and uh, I have to prepare for that exam every day. It's like Chinese imperial exam uh, system that uh, lasts for uh, one one thousand years, hmm, nearly one thousand years. If you know the Chinese history. We still have this exam if we want to become official and government official. And uh, another um, busy business is that I publish uh, lots of books. And uh, this year, in the August, I will publish eight books again, The Ancient Chinese Games. But next year, I'm planning to um, make some new books of the problems because I al always think that problems are, are are the best way for Go players to improve their skills, especially in this modern time. That if you watch Alpha, Alpha Go games, that the reason Alpha Go can beat Kojie can beat the top professionals is that AlphaGo has much more, much stronger uh, uh, calculating skill than them. So I will pick uh, problems from different levels and uh, publish some very small book because my uh, education skill, uh, not skill, education idea is to let you to make problem, uh, do the problems happily. You don't need to uh, have a very huge book and you even doesn't want to look at, read this book when you see thousands of problems. Oh, oh I, I should finish it my whole life it's not interesting I will just make one book very thin very small you can put it in the pocket and uh, whenever when you are poor you're sitting on the train or bus or on the ground you can just have it take it out and do some one or two problems you didn't to think it a lot if you don't know you can look at the uh, answers and uh, you just need to I will also make some filling uh, uh, space that you can correct them make oh I make some record of your uh, history when doing problem oh the first time I make it wrong and I will also set the time for you to make a very good plan for you to do the problems Oh, the first time I lost, uh, it doesn't matter. I look at, uh, the, I read the uh, answers, and then I know. Then I, the second time I make right, maybe the third time I make it wrong. Doesn't matter. We needn't to, uh, <coughs> needn't to uh, make ourselves very um, painful when do problems. Ah, oh, we can't think it out. Why? And I don't suggest you to do the problem thing 
more than two minutes at most I think two minutes at most for one problem because doing problems is cultivating us a good sense of the goal shape it's not that uh, to uh, think a very long time if you think one hour to do it, to uh, solve one problem I think it's meaningless and it's also very painful uh, yes, this is my next step, and uh, the uh, the super advantage of this uh, for business thinking is like a selling point of this this series of super goals, skills, books, and these super problems. I plan to call it super problem, but. Of course, it's in Chinese first. I need to publish. Maybe later I will come. Uh, I will think about translating it into English. Actually, there is no need to translate because I don't want to put a single word onto my problem books. I only give one solution, correct solution, and one uh, failure solution, uh, failure uh, variation. It's simple. Sometimes I, I saw lots of problem books that uh, one problem they give ten variations. It's very bad. It's like uh, when you learn Chinese word, one word have ten meanings. Then you will get confused. I think you just need to remember one, not two, even not two. Just need to remember one important, the most important meaning of a Chinese word, that's enough. And that's very straight and very clear to, to, to study when you learn this problem. And you will build confidence, oh, I make it correct. The second problem, oh, it's correct. Third problem, it's very simple. And you will get interested by doing problem like this. Very simple. I just give one variation, and uh, if you are interested, you, you can think of this problem deeply by yourself. You can find other opportun <coughs> other um, uh, probabilities. Actually, I think for me, for myself, I think the best way to do the problem is. You just have a problem and no answers. All the things you need to think by yourself. But uh, maybe if I publish like this, no one will buy. <coughs> <coughs> so I give one correct answer and one wrong answer. That's enough. Other things you can calculate by yourself. Uh, and yes. This is my next step, and the oh, I forgot to say the selling point of my problem books is that I have the strongest problem of the world. So that's why I called it super problems. Uh, when I publish it, I may try to uh, tell you. Uh, also find some ways to um, maybe show some problems on my YouTube channel or maybe I will publish the English ones show some super problems to you the very 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 hard ones that uh, because I work, it's not, uh, I invented so many uh, problems, it's like, uh, it's an advantage when I work in the uh, China Go Association, Hangzhou branch, that uh, our uh, organization that uh, we have already produced uh, <clears throat> the half of the professionals in China. So we have lots of experience, and I think these experiences, we need to publish it, then everyone can use it. 
the problems is one part. Most of the problems are the daily classes of them. So we can I, I can maybe also call this this call my book like uh, super problems are road to professional. Hmm. And this is the important uh, next step. And also, for my work is very busy, um, except for the, besides the uh, publishing books, I also need to do some projects. The recent project, very huge project, is to have a research on um, how to cultivate, select, uh, find, choose, select, and cultivate, educate the uh, genius of with uh, genius ch children, uh, talented children of with uh, to produce them to become professional players. How to find them? If this child is. Uh, is uh, suitable for setting go or not? Uh, and if w what kind of ways we use in the big class or small class, or what what's their family background, mm, fam fam uh, family education also affects. Mm, it's like I need to build a model to the best uh, consequence of this report is, of this research is that after I have done this research, we know how to select the children to, and we know how to produce it and let it become a professional. Actually, I'm not very interested in this research because I don't think professional players are very interested career. But this is my boss's interest. He wants me to do this research. It's okay. My baby is going to be born soon. So maybe I can also use this uh, research <coughs> achievement to help my baby. Okay. Uh, I talk too much seems. Uh, I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.